Hello everybody, here before 7 and today's topic is about the 5 cars you should be running in your cyborg regardless of the color you play. I'm gonna start with the 5 cars that I recommend you to play in your cyborgs and in the second part of the video we are all gonna see the results of the giveaway that I hope everybody is very excited about it, especially me. So uh, let's begin with the five cards. I'm telling you guys that you don't need any specific color to include these cards into your sideboard, just because all of them are colorless spells, especially artifact spells. Uh, so you don't need any specific color to be running any of these cards, and you can get a lot of value. The first card that I'm gonna talk about is Dumping Sphere. This card is absolutely great. This is my favorite card right now to put into my sideboards. Uh, you want to know why? Because it shuts down Eldrazi, it shuts down Tron, and it shuts down Amulet Titan. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, prevents your opponent from mana cheat. So the next time that your opponent plays Ursa Tower, uh, Ursa Power Plant, and you cast uh, Vamping Sphere and you resolve Vamping Sphere, your opponent will be crying all over the place because their mana cheat will not be working anymore. Uh, it also prevents Amulet Titan to get uh, um, mo multiple mana from their um, double mana land cards. So uh, that will be more difficult for them to do Resolve than Titan. Uh, and it will be more difficult for them to resolve um, uh, Summer's Pact or Pact of Negation. So uh, this card is great because it will help you to fight to those abusive decks in the format. Uh, so Dumping Fear is a must, at least in any of my servers. Uh, the next art that I'm going to talk about is Pity Needle. Pity Needle is a very good example of one mana efficiency. So you can play Pity Needle, uh, you can name the source of the spell that you hate the most, and you can prevent your opponent to use activated abilities of that card. Uh, the next time you can play Pity Needle and uh, you can name uh, Jace the Man Sculptor that is a card that most of the people don't like to play against um, you, can, uh, you can name Jace the Man Sculptor and your opponent cannot play cannot use any of its abilities anymore um, the next card is Damping Matrix Damping Matrix is great especially in a metagame with a lot of combo uh, in this case, you play Damping Matrix and you can shut down, you can shut down um, Goblin's deck because Kiki Jiki will not be a thing anymore. Uh, you can prevent activate, activate abilities from creatures, from artifacts, and you can be protected against uh, those annoying combos. Um, the next card is Soul Guide Lantern. Soul Guide Lantern is um, kind of similar to Relic of Progenitus. Uh, however, I prefer Soul Gun Lantern because it gets value when it hits the battlefield. It hits the battlefield and you can exile that annoying Uro that your opponent has in his graveyard and you will not see that anymore and you can use the, the two more abilities as uh, uh, Relic Opportunities are the same, you exile the grave uh, or you pay the extra cost and you get a card. Uh, that's extra value. Uh, that is the same case of uh, Nihil Spellbomb, that is the next card that I want to talk about. Uh, Nihil Spellbomb is again graveyard hate, but you can get extra value. You can play Nihil Spellbomb, exile that annoying dredge graveyard from your opponent, and you get that extra, gra uh, extra value if you pay the extra cost. Um, Nihil Spellbomb is great. Uh, nowadays, there's a lot of dredge and a lot of Uro. So, uh, Nihil Spellbomb for one mana is a really good value to just erase all the graveyard. Um, also, Grab Digger's Cage, that is the other card that I want to talk about. It is very, uh, it's really a good card because it prevents your opponent to play cards from the grave. Uh, no cards can enter to the battlefield from the grave, so uh, that's a very good way to deal with Dredge and to deal with Uro. Uh, so those are all the cards that I wanted to talk about. Um, as I said, uh, it's really convenient because you don't need to play a specific color to include all of those cards into your side. And the next topic is uh, the thing that everybody came to. So uh, let's move to the giveaway. <laughs> 
Now the moment that everybody was expecting, the giveaway for this beautiful deck box. I have here the names of everybody who entered to the giveaway. So I will move to random picker, random name picker. And let's see who's the winner. Okay, congratulations, my friend. I will be sending you these right away. So here we have the winner of this beautiful deck box. Uh, I will be sending you this right away uh, this week. And um, uh, I will keep you posted, guys, for the second giveaway who, that will be posted soon. And thank you for watching and see you again next time.